Hey. Uh, the music seems maybe a little quiet. But that's too loud. Fuck. I wish that the volume slider on the YouTube videos was not so damn tiny. They got all that empty space. They could make it bigger. Anyway, welcome. Uh, Raven, Echoway, Turnip, Marigold, thank you for subscribing for 32 months. Thank you. Sixth House, Monday. Thank you for subscribing for 32 months. Uh, Rhea, Blues, Gridra, Inkuna, and Mika. How are you guys doing? It is Saturday, June 8th, 2024, 1.12 p.m. I'm late. That's okay, right? You're not gonna hold it against me? You're not gonna get mad at me? Am I yelling? I got my noise-canceling headphones on right now because the, the world is very loud. And I feel like it makes me more prone to shouting. I've got a nice milky chai tea sitting here. I'll go sleep soon. Sometime soon, but wanted to stop by Grace. Well, thank you for dropping in. I hope that you sleep well when you get around to that. Damn time zones. Urgh. Erm, chai tea. Erm, graphy. Yeah? Looking to get your balls electrocuted? You nerd? This world is honestly so loud. There's always dogs barking and shit banging around. I'm sick of it. Bleh. Uh, pretty soon, I should be back to writing reviews for my website. I don't know if anybody is particularly looking forward to that, but I have uh, I have many <laughs> to write. And I feel kind of bad that I let them go for so long because stuff like um, Shadow Tower Abyss, I, uh, I, I feel like I can't write a good review for it anymore because <laughs> it's been so long. Hello, Garfsune Miku. I read them and I laugh at them. They're really funny. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're a great writer, really. Thanks. <laughs> You'll have to play it again. No, <laughs> I simply won't. Uh, a little Baxter Crook and Captain Sheep. Three sisters. I got more than that. Got a whole stable here, and it's fucking hot. It's gonna be 77 degrees today, and. I don't have uh, air conditioning. I better go ahead and turn on my fan. Oh, I had to go shorts mode. Might even have to go tank top mode. It could happen. It could happen. I feel like there was something I was gonna say. Hey, Turnip. What's up? Graphite, I'm here to see how cool Blanca is. He is very cool. I really like his sprite in the uh, CBS2, which I, I guess is his alpha sprite, where he's like a Dark Stalkers character. It's tank top season. No bomber jacket and turtleneck. No, it's crop top season. We got crop top and dolphin shorts. You will put your bare feet in a tin bucket of water like Gendo. <laughs> why, why am I doing that? Graphite twenty nine peak. Graphite twenty nine peak. Graphite 29 peak, Graphite 29 peak. Thank you, Neo Zero. For 22 months. Much appreciated. Blanca is shocking. Still need to do that CBS? It's really weird. You know what? I realized part of the reason I've been having trouble playing Street Fighter 6 is because in CBS 2, in order to do like, um. If you don't play Street Fighter, there's often like a string that you do where you do like three light attacks, like light, light kick, light punch, light punch. And by then you have enough time to realize that you, if you're blocking or if you're actually hitting your opponent and then you cancel into a special move or a super. And in CBS 2 and in older Street Fighters like uh, Alpha, you have to do that very fast. It has to be unbelievably fast like lightning speed but in street fighter 6 it's really lenient <laughs> so i go to mash it out like i'm playing an old game and then i don't get my move and i'm like this what is this why is this game so hard it's actually because it's easy that it's hard because i'm not used to it yeah raffi i've been working on my australian accent you've been studying macaw you've been watching crocodile dundee 
What are dolphin shorts? They're like um, gym shorts that have a seam along the side, the side that goes down. I'll just get a picture. I don't actually have any. this this is dolphin shorts they're famous of internet people draw these all the time hello cinda 47 and like a how do you do i returned to my old computer with no cookies and was warned of potentially harmful content well better watch out you might be harmed by my content hello eight lives welcome hello spy as well they're just cute. I have two pair. They are quite cute, aren't they? I would like to have some. The only um, gym shorts that I have are the most horrible. And they're they're like uh, magenta and magenta and white or gray like heather color. And then the the rim of them and the seam on the side are like mid-tone gray and it's like a horrible it's just a disgusting color combination they're just so fucking ugly I don't know what they were thinking with that I need a new pair grow a pair when are they gonna make shark shorts what would those even be they pose containment issues though <laughs> yeah I mean, I know that when I wear my gym shorts, I mean, they used to have like a pair of bike shorts that was like sewn into them. There was like kind of a layer underneath for modesty, but I cut those out because I thought they were lame. And uh, it is, if I lay down or move in such a way, you can see my entire ass and more when I'm wearing them. So I can only wear them <laughs> at home. Put a pair on your throne. I don't have a throne. Oh, look, this is short seat. Oh, Rhea, thank you for gifting us up to po po poison slime. Who? Thank you. Hey, G Pool. Graphy's playing multiverses. Wow, wow. I'm not playing that. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm not a Smash player. I liked Smash 4 on the 3DS, but I don't I don't really like any other version of Smash. <laughs> you won't main LeBron? Is he really in it? I saw Shaq. Wait, or no, was it Shaq or was it LeBron? Somebody had a video of somebody doing a really broken looking like basketball that they just kept dunking and it was like spawning like infinite basketballs. <laughs> Poison Slime shows up and becomes a Graffy fan. Apparently they followed last month. I don't know who, who that is, though. <laughs> Let me take a look at this Twitch page. Who is that? I don't know. I just hit random gift. Oh, okay. I see. Well, thank you anyway. I'm very poison slime adjacent. What does your poison do? That's me on my poisonous all. That's where you blam people, flaming people in chat. The damage has no cap. You can ball indefinitely. I remember, is this is that game made by the same people who made that Nickelodeon Smash game where for some reason Invader Zim like had a grab attack that was somehow tied to like the, the center of the stage through like a weird bug and it's like if you did like a grab and someone was standing at the center of the stage you would grab them even though you were nowhere near them because it was like spawning like a tiny hitbox for your grab at the origin of the 
of like the 3D model for the scene or something. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> it turns you into a venomous scaling. That sounds like a good time. Is that really poison? Or is that deliverance? The Nick one is kind of fun because it's stupid fast. Ooh. I like slow games. Keep it up. And there's more where that came from. Wait, keep what up? Graphite, can you remind me tomorrow to water my... Uh, full graphics interlaced plants. Yeah. Whatever that is. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> is this tea cool enough to drink yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's good. I can actually taste it today. Maybe it's because I let it steep for five minutes. Usually I can't really taste tea at all. And everybody's like, you're crazy. Tea, it tastes so good and so distinctive. Crappy, can you give us a way to squish your cheeks like Mario? I'm getting angry. Do I need to make like a Sammy redeem for this? My cheeks? Blah. You're losing the cigarettes debuff, but I stopped smoking like two months ago or more. <laughs> Don't like consistency. Oh god. <laughs> I've only had the sweet tea from the gallon jug. The sweet tea is good, but you're, you're mostly tasting the sugar with that, I think. Tea is only good when other people make it. I lack the art. Maybe it's because I have tea bags. Maybe I should just get actual tea. I've had so much hot chocolate that when I have plain hot water, I can still taste the hot chocolate. You know, maybe it's because I drink coffee usually. I've been trying to cut back on that because it was giving me a um, heartburn. Oh, your tongue and mouth cell sneed to die and be replaced. It takes that long. All right, the music's over. Today we're playing a game that I found on Twitter. I don't even know how I found it. This keeps happening. Where, like, I find out about a game and I don't know where I found out about it th from. Uh, itch. Let's see if I can find it. I'll, I'll link it in the chat. It looked interesting. It looks, it kind of reminds me of Shin Megami Tensei and, like, germs from what I saw of it. So I was like, yeah. I'll I'll play this. Cause I, I've been kinda enjoying playing um indie games recently. Cause they're usually nice and short, and they're also usually at least interesting. Like they have ideas. <laughs> you can't always say for every game. Um Yeah, so I'm interested in this one. Miracle just sent me a Twitch DM. It was so scary. What'd she say? Leak your DMs. Alright. Game. We need to pulverize you into a big round mochi right now. Get the fucking hammer, siblings. Why? What's inspiring this, this reaction in you today? <laughs> Alright. Let's hope that this uh, captures... Yeah, there we go. I couldn't get around... Have this that you might speak. Because we were once cowards, we must now find and deliver three verses. Yeah, that's the basis of the game, created by Fainting Room JV. Tunes by Gecko Afterlife. Oh, it seems loud. It seems a bit loud. Let's turn it down. I don't know if this game has a save function. I think that uh, you might have to complete this in one sitting. I'm not sure. She said something about nudes in her bio? I don't get it. Hmm. Hmm. Is it still too loud? You can complete this in one setting easy. 
Oh, sitting. I hope so. It's a smidge loud compared to you? Okay, thank you. I'll turn it down a little bit. That better? What's Rhea DMing me now? <laughs> She's sending me gifts of people pounding mochi extremely fast, and one of people pounding mochi extremely slow. I'm feeling a little threatened, you guys. I don't know. Alright, let's start this game. Uh, we're here. Is, is, is it still loud? It looks loud. It's hitting yellow in the mixer. We're in this, like, I don't know, hotel? Library? Again, this is a Godot game, and it, it, it just has that Godot feeling. I don't know how, but, like, Godot games, they have their own feeling, which I think is cool. It's a little bit loud? Okay, I'll turn it down a little more. There. That's probably good. Alright. Um... Hello. Welcome. Don't worry. It's everyone's first time stay. You'll be okay. Besides, your assignment is simple. Find and deliver three verses. It is written, Man cannot hear the voices of gods. Thus, the sinner, ever plenty, must be their courier. That's you! <laughs> you need only listen and speak. Behind you sit deity and poet. Listen to the deity and speak its words to the poet. What if I want to go over here though? Oh, the controls are kind of weird. Uh, w and S move you forward and backward, but A and D strafe, and you turn with Q and E. I respect that kind of control scheme. We can't open that door. It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Hey Lily, how's it going? Yeah, this guy, chillin'. See how the poet struggles. His neck cranes like an antenna, receptive to any transmission. This is my deity voice. Which could pierce the static fog. I do not want terribly to help. Though, as you must fulfill your duty, this I shall freely give. The will is almost nothing. Okay, thanks man. We got a verse. You can see a little scroll is flashing at the top of the screen. Hey mage. Welcome. And Skelly. Let me know if it's still loud. If I read it out loud... Maybe I will hear the last line. Were it not for our momentum, the inertia of our actions, the constant inspiration of our habits. This is a shitty poem. We could not continue. What's the next line? Uh, uh Is that it? I think I've got it. The will is almost nothing. Okay. I think I found a new method. That is how it is done. More or less. Some of us are more temperamental. Verses might not come easy. You would do well to remember this. Right. Not bad. Each poet has their own verse, so you must be careful. It may take some getting used to, so I encourage that you write down any info you receive. You can access your notepad with tab. Now that you have prepared, it's time to begin your stay. Your room is at the end of the hall. Thank you. I feel very welcome here. You can move pretty fast. Wow. Kudu, kudu. Do you stay here, Graphite? Yes. 
Seems very nice. Hey, wait a second. Was I just like off the grid? Can I screw up my alignment by moving around fast enough? Maybe I just imagined that. Tile-based movement is pleasing. I agree. It's just nice to chunkily move around like that, even if it's not a dungeon crawler. <laughs> you were doing the raging demon. Misatsu. This is just like Hotel Dusk. Wait, is it? This is how I move in our flat? <laughs> On a grid? This looks cool. Hi, Benji. It seems pretty cool so far. A hand icon is pretty good. Was that an FMV? What? <laughs> nice music. We have St. Thomas's Episcopal Church. Thank you, ham and oysters. Supper supporters. Oh, I can't go down there. This somehow, it looks like GTA San Andreas. You know what I mean? Nice grass. Hey, that's some premium grass right there. The hand is from blood? You sure? Let's go to church. Hey, wait, I'm unaligned again. Before, we were standing directly in front of that sign. I think this was made for a game jam, so it might be that, um, that's the spray can hand sprite? Oh, wait, I think I can see that. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I think this was made on, um, for a game jam or something? So it might be that the movement code is a little, like, made, uh, how do you say, on a time limit. <laughs> Here's church. Because you know what? I've tried to make a grid-based movement system in Godot before, and it's hard. It's way harder than you would expect. It's, it's surprisingly difficult in 3D, even. Magic, indelibly stamped on the atmosphere somewhere. Forever, remember, O oh sword, you are forever the younger. Your triumph, however exultant, must one day be over. What is the next line? Uh... God help me. Okay, he didn't like that. You wish to aid our devotee? We are awfully distracted. Man has opened the gate to this world. Demons abound just below us. Make haste through the door to your right. Should you exorcise these demons? Only then shall we remember. Should your life run low in battle you need only say heal okay we got a spell it's a lot of work but it's like take movement vectors clamped to one times that by tile size snap the player after because floating points are stupid <sighs> i need to brush up on godot again that's something i want to do i have more free time now i want to mess with godot more Again, that'd be fun. This looks awesome. Why is it kind of laggy, though? Fantastic environment. Oh. Oh. You can see, if I try to press forward, there's like a slight amount of movement. You can see like uh, the, the, the restroom signs expanding by like one pixel. Because I think it's like trying to move me forward, but I can't. I would play Graffy's Great Godot game. I don't think it would be very great, but it would be fun to make, probably. I was like amazed that those are real. 
you, you're amazed at water fountains? Where the hell do people drink water in public in your country? Nothing's coming out. There's a note that reads, Dark is weak to lightning! We got spell? I just bring my water bottle with me everywhere. What the? This is just like personal. It does kind of remind me of Persona 1's like dungeons. Lightning.heal. <laughs> These are great folding chair models here. Hey. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. But here's the key to the ladies room. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up in there. If you don't know, three attack spells. I wouldn't even bother. Although, I was in there earlier, and it made me really angry. I had just fucking cleaned it. I started punching the wall. With each swing, I felt reborn. Like I was generating some sort of magic power with every attack. Wouldn't go in there if I were you, but if you gotta, just remember, punching shit will raise your spirit. Alright, thanks. Maybe the plugin, it's just to make the environment, not the movement? Huh? Found a video on doing grid movement in Godot some time ago, and a guy created a plugin for that. Wow. I know that there's there's like a 3D grid uh, system in Godot where you can make like chunks of a 3D map and then like uh, put them down like a tile set kind of. That's just the ladies room. Everybody thinks that the ladies room is like cleaner than the men's room. Hey look, we're off axis again. I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, but that's not the case. <laughs> it's often foul. Punching shit will raise your spirit. Well, there's like these demons in here in the stalls. But he said that we shouldn't go in here if we don't. Oh, there's like a little house there. He said that we shouldn't go in here without three attack spells. So I guess we'll go look for more spells. Hello, Oki okay guy. Welcome. Greatest mystery of my life is how poop ends up not in the toilet. I mean, I think that some people squat on the seat because they think it's unsanitary to sit on it. And they make things worse for everybody. Oh, look at that. It's just like a JPEG of a building. Is this like from Google Earth or something? It looks amazing. Who's this? Ah. Um... I see, like, world. World is something, uh, it's like an adjective at the end. Oh, it's, it's, a uh, this, this world is, like, something. That's like an adjective. Like, the, the two characters before the last one is an adjective because, like, duh, at the very end is, like, um, if, if you, like, uh, how do you say? It's hard to explain. In Chinese, you can generate, like, a adjective by putting like a concept and then putting the which is like a generative like particle um i wonder what those characters are because i know i know everything with those the the two characters before the last oh hmm something fish I don't know. These are traditional characters, which I'm not that familiar with. This is... I don't know. If it was simplified Chinese, I might have a better chance of reading this. Hmm, something go... Fish? Like something... Hmm. Uh, do you want to go 
to somewhere a fish. I mean, he's a fish. Maybe he's asking if I want to if I want to go to like the like some kind of fish place. Seems to be. OCR says corrupt. This world is corrupt. Okay, thank you. This is awesome. That's my house. <laughs> that JPEG building. People are always talking about how in the ladies' room there's a little house in the distance. Yeah, every time. <laughs> They're on the loo and not closing the stall doors. Scary. I feel like it's when you talk to people the camera snaps to a new point. Hey, that might be it. And it puts you off the grid, as it was. Um... Let's go wherever Fishman wants us to go. Uh, all right, this is that's uh, woman tuba, which is like let's go. The, the ba at the end, that little character, that's like a suggestion particle that you use it to make a suggestion or to soften a statement that you're making. So it's uh, yeah, let's go. Oh. This is fish world? Well, I mean, it's got ample water. Cool. Looks like a nice place. I really like the textures in this game. Um... Xiang... Uh, do you want to go back home? Uh, no. I'll stay here for a little while longer. Oh, I didn't really- I can't really see that. Uh... Something like, uh... Is that Yao? Or the... Is that Shijian? Like, my time? It's kind of hard to read at this oblique angle. Is there- can I see that from a different perspective? No, it just- I have to see it with this weird oblique thing where I just can't read the text. Okay. Campfire. Looks delicious. You know, whenever I think about making a game, I always get too caught up in thinking, I gotta write like a grand story that is like revelatory to the zeitgeist or whatever. But you could really just put some cool environments together and let people wander around. You can move diagonally? Um. Can't talk to this person? Oh, I can talk to you though. Well, hello. Do you remember your first catch? Try as I might. I cannot. You, between one and the next. Catch as catch can. I've left a fishing rod. Over on the bridge behind you. Try to say a prayer before. I pray for protection. There's not a single game with a good story, Graffy. It's not the place for them. Don't worry. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think you just have high standards for story. You think that? What do I think? This is a DS gaum. Hello, Morzano. Thank you for the hydrate. There are many people, including me, that just want to see cool things. I just want to make 3D environments that you can move through, because I think that moving through 3D space is the most important thing in the world. Oh, I forgot to turn on um, Do Not Disturb on my phone. Whoops, hold on. What's going on? Uh, painting. What? Oh, it's Typing of the Dead? You caught Mac 10 spell. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. What do I get? Yellowtail? How handsome. 
This is what I chant to myself every morning. Mac 10, lightning, heal. I wonder what it's interpreting as a link there, Nikoi. If I fish up a murder weapon from the river, it's mine now. I don't think it works like that. Hmm. Hello, Icevy. How are you doing? The murder weapon is a shockingly common catch. Is that so? Almost typed came cube. Oh, we I guess we only get yellow tail now. Hello. I'm EP. <laughs> well, I hope that you rouse yourself from your EP soon. Yes, it was just like that. Listen. In the beginning, there were rocks. Yes. It is just so. Praying is good for your for you. In the beginning there were rocks. Is that what he said? I have seen miracles. Magic is in the air at times. Alright, we got one of the verses. What did you say? In the beginning there were rocks, okay. This person has got nothing for us. Alright, I suppose we go back now. From... Uh... This fish world. When I move left here, it kind of moves me forwards. I think I'm colliding with the campfire. I want to make a game so bad. I will learn Grotto. It's it's really easy to learn, honestly. Oh no, 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 no. We don't need to go to the fish world again. What's in here? Oh, like a convenience store? Tobacco store? Do you think I can program a game where you walk around and talk to people only in Godot? Yeah. It's not not too hard. Godot is pretty easy to learn. If you if you have not done any programming before, it might be a little bit more difficult. But I feel like the way that Godot is like structured and the programming language is like very approachable. I think it makes a lot more sense than Unity. I really don't like Unity. I mean, before even they implemented all their terrible policies that suck ass. Like I thought that it was kind of a bad engine to work with. Unity sucks. Fuck unity. In beginning, the the word was... Uh... But what's next? In the beginning, there were rocks? Hmm. Suppose I can make do. Uh, we did it? I like that this dude's a poet. Oh, those are fucking, like, pipes right there. This guy's smelling, selling weed pipe for smoking. Okay. My pro tip is if you can live without a physics engine, not having one will make everything much easier. Yeah, the physics in Godot, I don't know if they fix this, but they're pretty weird. Like, um, you'll notice in a lot of games that are made in Godot, Characters will slide down on slopes because it's like kind of awkward to fix it so you don't do that, which is, I think, kind of weird. They, they must have fixed that by now, though. Right? <laughs> a sound mod? I tried modding a game I like that uses Unity. I wanted to run down the street screaming. Yeah, well, luck with game, everyone. Thank you, Greedra. Your cheer brings us all... 
power. Okay. Flooded. Hello, orb. You who seek my verse, restore this shrine's power. A man at the substation awaits my signal. E-A-O, E-A-O. We can get rid of that verse now. Uh. Trying to move in 3D space with physics messes up everything. It's... it's tricky. It's not the worst thing, but... It does make things more complicated. I think if it's a fixing thing, it's just what the physics engine says. Solid objects slide on slopes. You have to know what physics you actually want. And it's like, I remember there, you had to do something where you attach like a ray caster to your player and have it look at the ground and determine like what the angle of the ground was and then like delete its velocity or something if you're on a slope and not like putting in movements or something. Public master bath. This is really weird. Towels? This is a close-up. An arm. Big muscles gone to seed. It moves, but first, we read Rodney. The design looks Chinese. Flash powder tattoo. What about the last line? Uh... Just stuck there. He didn't like that. Nice water, constantly flowing. You know, more than anything in the world, I would love to go to like a public bath like this. I mean, assuming that it wouldn't be like a social problem for a trans person. That, you know, in a perfect world, what I mean. Public bath. I've been to one once and it was awesome. Oh. Wanna go to the one that they did in Hidamari Sketch. Hey, nice building. This place is cool. This must be the substation. You got a hard hat on and gloves and coveralls. Who are you? <sighs> oh. Uh E A O E A O E A O. E-A-O-U-E-A-O You too, huh? Write this down, buddy. Oh. Now, six, four, five, seven, three, one, two. Your time is up and your parole has begun. I'm not sure what it means, but my coworker's been down there trying to crack the code for hours. You mind checking on him too? Here's the key to the control room. Head through the elevator behind me. Oh okay. yeah. What's over here? Nothing. And done shoving! Music. Look at that water beneath. What did that do? I probably shouldn't have been. Uh... Oh, it's probably for this sludge. Alright. I would make a public bath in a community far away from where any public baths are common. There will be no competition. My goodness. That's the way to go, I guess. Got a nice maze here. Oh. 
Hmm. All right. That's open. This thing there. This is an interesting little maze here. Huh? How did you get in here? Oh god! Maybe it's safe to run for it. Hold this, I'm out of here. He handed you something and ran away. Fireball spell learns. <laughs> Hello, Baru. You'll starve again, lol. <laughs> I really, I really want to watch the Tom Hooper Les Mis movie. You know, I had this like, uh, like a uh, stupid idea that I wanted to try showing every like film adaptation of Les Mis, and then I started looking, and there are like twenty of them, <laughs> and a lot, a lot of them are from like the thirties, and they look like quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> the Tobin Hooper Les Mis, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. He's so late. Welcome. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate, Megami, and welcome. <sighs> like when I found out that Keanu Reeves is in like 200 movies. Yeah, it's always sad when you want to make a project with something and you find out like... Oh, if I'm gonna do this, I might as well like commit to a monetized YouTube channel about this process. And then you're like, you know, who wants to do that? <laughs> the Columbo Les Mis? Pardon? Is Peter Falk in a production of Les Mis? Have you started reading Les Mis? No, I want to get a copy of it. But I need to research what is a good translation. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the idea of reading it. What if it sucks? It could very well suck. Enter vowel. Huh? Oh no, I think that was the wrong vowel. E. E O U. E-A-O? Uh... Is it... Oh! That's the order. We have to put the vowels in, in the order of that number. Okay. I'll bet parts of it suck. Oh, definitely. There's gonna be parts where it's focused on, like, some unbearable character, where it's just, like, you know, goes on for, like, 300 pages about, like, I don't know, the innkeeper or something, and I'm just like, oh, god. This puzzle is cool. It's gonna be 300 pages of Master of the House, doling out the charm, <laughs> noticing your bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Could have read Les Mis in original, but I need to read Innocence Abroad for my master's dissertation. What is that? <laughs> LMFAO plus two. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, hold up. We gotta do this. It's, uh, I. Input, accept it. Ah, there we go. There we go. What is that? I, I don't know what that is. Um, four. E. There was like a image on the screen that's gone from this one now. Huh. Five is O. Uh, maybe the symbols don't mean anything. Then seven is U. Three 
three is E. This is cool. One is A. Yow, ow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I think you like that. Uh. Oh? All right. <laughs> sure. Hey, the ceiling in this room, I just realized, is really cool looking. I wish we could look around freely. Innocence Abroad is Mark Twain's travel book describing pleasure excursion from New York through Europe to Holy Lands and abroad steamboat Quaker City. Wow. Yeah, we didn't talk to this guy before going in that room. He got away. I was napping. He's lucky I'm afraid of elevators. I guess you did help. And a deal's a deal. Me. I'm staying down here. It smells like shit. Okay. Uh, well, I didn't even talk to this guy on the way... On the way in. Uh -huh. Aha. We don't know what this guy's dialogue was. Oh, well. Whatever deal we made. <laughs> hey, did you see your coworker run through here? Well, you found Jerry. That was Jerry?! He ran out in a hurry, screaming. You must have really rattled him. I like your style. I heard a loud noise, though. You might want to check outside. Alright. I guess we go back to that flooded building, whatever that was. Yeah, this tree. Nice texture on that. What is that creature emote? <laughs> creature gal! I'm a seven? A me? Yeah, you. The verse affixed to the tree reads In the beginning, the word was. Okay. I can make it work. I wonder if I am delivering the wrong verses to the wrong people. Because they... They don't seem particularly enthusiastic about our delivery of the verses. Like they both kind of just have like a non-committal, like, yeah, alright, I can make it work. I wouldn't... I couldn't make that fork work. Well, we have four spells now. I guess we can go fight the, the demons in the ladies' bathroom. Let's make it happen. Enemy engage. Oh, that's what we look like up in the, the top left corner? Uh, let's use Mac 10. Is that good? Enemy charging power. How about... That doesn't do as much damage. Oh, that did quite a bit. Alright, how about... Fireball! Oh, that's a lot. Nice battle. Dead. Gargoyle defeated. Okay. Why did it put us back at the door? This guy's different. Oh, I have quite low health. Insufficient mana. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> I guess we just get to try again? Oh, attacking raises your MP. Great. 
Full of fidgety frolic. Welcome. This is so SMT. It is. I think I saw the devs uh, say that they specifically had the musician reference the the battle theme from Shin Megami Tensei. Okay, Mac 10 works on this guy. Maybe he's made of glass? I don't know. This is fun. It's a 75% identical to SMT1 battle song. I think it's fun. Ow! <laughs> that little fanfare? Alright. Are you also Mac 10 weakness? Let's see. Yeah. Alright, let's attack. I like that there's typing is like a central mechanic of this game. I think it's fun. You know, I really feel like more PC games could use typing as a mechanic. Because it's like, you've got the keyboard right there. Why not use it? Also, I enjoy that these uh, moving tiles have a non-filtered version of the texture on them. But then the tiles that are static that you walk on to get to the demons, it's like a, it's like got bilinear filtering on it. It's just the odd, it's an odd touch. I like it. No, you need the Mac 20 for this one. Have we had any use for lightning yet? A bathhouse slash internet cafe. A place to enjoy a bath while connecting to free Wi-Fi on your phone in the bath. You can do that at home. I mean, if you got a bathtub, I guess. I don't. Maybe this guy is weak to lightning. Oh, he's a darkness guy. Okay, I get it. Because he's purple. That's a lot of damage. This is a cool little, uh, different version of the battle song. I kind of like how if you don't notice a typo, you will fail to cast a spell. Okay, we killed. Oh. Uh... Peace has returned to the women's bathroom. It seems a little creepy in here. Uh, I kind of was hoping we would go to wherever that is. <laughs> but I guess we just, uh, we organized everything. Now we can leave. It's so cool that there's peace now. We love peace. You actually went in there? Gargoyles? Huh. You have done well, if our memory serves. In the beginning was the word. It's the same as the other one.
Oops. In the beginning was the word. Thank you, God. We completed all verses. You have done well. Oh yeah, just telling us the same thing. Thank you for the hydrate garf tsunami goo. Sorry, only people who own baths can use the bathhouse slash internet cafe. It's a bring your own bath establishment. You have to bring your own large tin tub. So, where do we go now? Oh, door in the middle of the street. Whoa, oh, you see that subway? Or uh, I guess it's not a subway if it's elevated like that. That was cool. What an awesome touch. You know, this little, this little like chunk of this city is so cool. You know, I think that my only complaint about this, I'm, I'm not super crazy about some of the like strange, vague dialogue, but like, I, I think this game is like a super awesome atmosphere. And I just kind of wish that there was more places to go and like more people to talk to. Because it's just so cool. I wonder if these people have made any other games. Should check that out. Bring back interactive fiction. Well, I mean, we had Twine games, I guess. Those are interactive fiction. They're not parser fiction, but I am pretty fatigued of esoteric dialogue. Yeah, you know, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I would have been crazy about it. I would have been over the moon, but I don't know. FMV? This game's got everything. What a good time. I can hear the voice which says, this is the place. It has been this way all my life. Look at them birds. And I busy myself with studying its movements, forgetting things like this is, and this or that place. After my life, I thought, there must be a voice, more commanding, still, my throat moves. And so I try again. Ending 2? Ending two, huh? So that was like a bad end. A text reminding me of Pokey the Penguin. <laughs> Put your face into the glue. <laughs> huh? I wonder how you get ending one? Let me look at the the itch page, which, by the way, I'm just going to link it here again. And while we're at it, let's see. How do I look at this person's other games? Oh, this is the only one. I hope they make more games soon. Let's see. Well, they've got a whole bunch of writing about like inspirations and like uh, materials of the game and stuff. That's pretty cool. It might just be that I don't, I just, I've never been able to get into poetry because I'm, I'm too literal and I can't read between the lines, which makes communicating with people kind of hard. Uh, 
How do you get the other ending? There's at least four endings? What? I'm looking... Going through the different literary resources online and trying to use the clues in the books and websites to find different endings? What? There's like a meta game to this? What? My belief is you will like poetry one day. It could happen. Hello, Ron Moo. Welcome. I don't like poetry either, but I think it's because I read between the lines too much. How do you mean? Poetry's the fighting games of literature. Everyone thinks they can't play it. Yeah, when are you going to play fighting games again, Rhea? When am I going to fight your Elena? Huh? One of the devs made something else? Cat World by Desktop Trash? Let's see. Wow. <laughs> oh, it looks funny. All right, I'm interested in that. All right, I'll put that aside for later. So, what should I, how should I find more endings? Somebody mentioned looking at the text outside the game. There's nobody in the comments says how to get the other endings though. Like, referencing an opera? This is crazy. Oh, I think that you have to properly match the, the lines to the poets or something oh god but how am i gonna figure that out so obviously the lines are oh man this is gonna be hell hey drop what's up Oh, this game looks amazing. Yeah. We just, I, I just like completed, uh, the will is almost nothing. All right. I completed one playthrough, but I don't, you, you get other endings somehow. She said, hey, Drop, what's up, and didn't read my message in a funny voice. Something must be seriously wrong. Wait, do I read your messages in a funny voice? I do that? The Silent Hill 3 Shakespeare puzzle? <laughs> Legendary. I tried so hard to solve that on my own. And it was, like, impossible. Alucard. Alucard Vossier. I'm interested in this. I'm Grapthea. Monday, we're playing a different game tonight. 
Nobody has asked me to play CVS2 with them. Augers was bugging me for months when I couldn't play it. And he hasn't asked me a single time now that I can. Why don't you ask him? You could be the one to take the initiative, you know. Graphite Hello, when are you going to play the Quake DLC? I mean, if you keep asking, never. Hmm, protection. I wonder if there's something else, uh... I wonder if there's some other spell you can put in. First she says take the initiative, now she says it's bad, yeah. Holly started doing it and she said it's because she watches you. Giving you a funny voice? What? You do a really specific funny voice. I call it the grafty voice. What? Are there any text files that come with the game? No. There's only the game exe and something called a, it's like a package file or something. Damn, this game looks awesome. It's pretty great. I had a really good time playing it. All right, so oh, I forgot to get the I forgot to get the verse from that guy. Take me back. I'm play this game now. Yeah, you should. It's uh, it's pretty short. It looks like it took me about 50, 45 minutes to finish it. I have to do it again? I must have reset the flags or something. Now the drop mentions it, I can hear it. Really? Yellow tail. I wonder if we can use the yellow tail for anything. In the beginning there were rocks. Praying is good for you. Okay. So maybe that's the one for the guy in the church? Yeah, read this out loud. Hey, I'm Grafty. I like to team kill. Wanna play a game of lucky shit? Whoops, uh... God help me. Uh... Is that bad? God's works are a mystery. Okay. Is that good? He didn't say that last time. Let me take a screenshot of this. In the beginning there was rock and roll. Okay, so that's not the right one. Uh, where's the other one? Where's the last? Oh yeah, the guy in the bathhouse. That's so uninspiring. Did I not type it in right? Just stuck there. Okay. 
Oops. Just, uh, I put that slash in. That probably screwed it up. He said something about Chinese. Maybe that's associated with the fish world that we went to. I thought I could have swore that was one of the things, like one of the verses. Do we really have to go and do the whole damn thing all over again? No period at the end? Does it have to have a period? Take a screenshot of this! It's so funny the graphic goes from playing games like this to like Alone in the Dark 2008. I don't think they are so different. Really? Let me try it with the period. No. I don't think there was one? Huh. I think that we already screwed up. Because that person doesn't seem enthusiastic. I don't want to do that all over again and type in all those letters and stuff. Oh, I want to see the endings though. Does anybody remember what the the verses were? I like a game where punctuation is a major gameplay mechanic. It's pretty fun. And all of Digi's emotes are so good. Alright. I'm gonna go to the VOD, and I'm gonna scrub through and see what the verses were. Hey, can I hear myself on the stream? Self on the stream? Yeah. Self on the stream? Hi, Graphy. Yeah. Self on the stream? Hi, Graphy. Yeah. Hi, Graphy. Hi, Graphy. Yeah. Hi, Graphy. How you doing? Hi, Graphy. How you doing? I'm pretty good, thanks. How you doing? I'm pretty good, thanks. How you doing? I'm pretty good, thanks. Okay, we gotta stop this. <laughs> <laughs> Crabite Hello plays DF2. <laughs> hey Doro. <laughs> Why is that Moe? Do you like this emote? It makes Margot really angry. I really don't like that. I really I don't like that. I don't like that emote. <laughs> much, much, much better. It's the best emote. It's not. <laughs> Why is it called Zam? Oh no. Alright. Mute. Scrub through. The first one that we got was from the guy... In the beginning, there were rocks. Whoops. No. All right. Now, where was the other? We got another verse from the power plant guy. I wonder if it will even let me do this without like uh going through the whole thing again. If I if I have to do all that again, I'm not going to do it. Sadly. <laughs> heard a loud noise though all right no that's right you get the verse from the orb i gotta go somewhere there's some music while we're chilling yeah that's the face you make when you zam what is zam does it have to do with zaddy yeah really In the beginning, the word was. Okay, that is one of the verses. And the other one is, in the beginning was the word, right? So...
I can make it work. Okay. So we don't we don't have to go through the whole thing. Oh. Different ending. Gargoyle. Oh, is it because I didn't kill the gargoyle? This very Shin Megami Tensei 1 intro music. What? Are they gonna make the orb from Shin Megami Tensei 3? Or that dome or whatever it was? <laughs> awesome cutscene. I like how we did not even get an ending. Like it didn't like it didn't say ending two. It's just the gargoyles did that. Alright, so I wonder if I can give that person one of the other verses. Get domed. Don't say that. Nobody's out here getting dome on twitch.tv. I don't think- do even people even say that anymore? Uh... And on those rocks with harder rocks, we learned to make a million bruises. To spell out things like, we were here and watch your water. Okay. That's definitely correct. That was definitely right. Ah, in the beginning, the word was... And so it was. Okay, that's definitely right. In the beginning was the word. Thank you, God. Alright. Now, I suppose we have to kill the gargoyles? Oh, we need the key to the restroom, though. I wonder if we have the spells. He doesn't know the bathroom. People do say it, but to mean a headshot? What? No one says it anymore. Rhea says it. Do you really say that? Awesome visual. It was a good ending. Now, can I cast a spell? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have to do it all over again. That's nice. Fireball! Domed. Crowned. Hey, farmsteads. What's up? How are you doing today? These last games have been so cool. Yeah, I've really been, like, just finding a bunch of really cool indie games recently. Which is, like, restoring my faith in, uh, video games. This, like, seems like a really stupid statement. Why did you guys all watch that 
Jeff's funny uh, carnival of video games. It seems like it gave everyone a headache and made them depressed. Jeff is my close personal friend. Because we fucking like to play! And did you see anything that excited you? Aside from Jeff himself? They had Silent Hill. Which one? F? Or... Bloober Team? Every single game, I just kept saying this looks like Fortnite. <laughs> really? Slitterhead looked cool? I'm curious about that. Because I like Keichiro Toyama. Because I like Siren and I like Silent Hill 1 a lot. But Naoko Sato is, I think, at the beating heart of uh, Keichiro Toyama's game's like, stories. So, I'm curious to see what the story of that game is going to be like without her. Because I'm pretty sure she's not working on the game. Uh, lightning! Davy Redden? What is that? Hello, possum! Crave the downfall of big video game is why. Damn. The beginner's guide guy? Oh. Is that the one with the, the Counter-Strike maps? Yeah, that, that game is really cool. I liked it a lot. Great. We defeated Gargoyle. When that game came up, I said, Stanley wondered why every game looked like Fortnite. I never played the Stanley Parable. Okay. An impossible sun they had to fashion that they might see once more. It's squares of brightness, dreaming, intense dreams, on the surface of the floor. Whoa. It's Bryce 3D in here. Going to the dolphin world? Cool. What gives? <laughs> yeah, I know. Dirt when pushed. Why now? We look upon creation. Where to? It is of you, it is you, it is its. How so? Breathe as breathe soil. When? The end. Okay. We got some more cryptic text and a cool FMV. Which ending is that? We didn't get an ending number. So we saw ending two and we saw gargoyle ending and we saw ocean and cryptic text ending. Stanley Parable 2 is the angriest game I've ever played. That guy really hates gaming. I guess I should play it and see what you mean. This looks like Death Crimson positive. <laughs> what do you mean? This is a this is a really cool game. Um I would really like to see what else like these the people who made this uh come up with because i really like this that was really cool very atmospheric i love the graphics i like the the areas and a lot of the ideas the battle system with like the the typing the the focus on typing in general in this game is pretty cool like i said i really wish that more pc games made use of the keyboard i don't know why like it's, it seems like people think of the keyboard as like oh that's for word processors i don't know Hold on. Oh, maybe I can switch to my other headphones now. I can actually hear. Oh, I really hate wearing my noise-canceling headphones while I'm streaming. Because I like to be able to hear... Ah, the room that I'm in. And hear my voice clearly, so it doesn't sound all muffled in my head. Um, yeah, cool, cool game. I'm curious about the one that Marigold mentioned that 
one of the people who worked on this made. Um, yeah. How do I get out of this? Do I have to Alt F4? Quit space. Oh, there we go. Well, yeah, nice game. Congrats to the devs for making something so cool. Uh, uh, cat world? Remember cat planet? No? Yeah, this is the other game. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll play this tomorrow. Could be. Cat planet, cat planet? Why do you all know this? Why do you all know this? Well, it looks like they're selling prints uh, from this game that featured the, the guy from the electrical substation and a gargoyle that is chasing him. That's, that's pretty good. Awesome, right? Well, anyway, I have to pee, and then we're going to play Tomb Raider. We need that Tomb Raider. Hey, you know who, at the very beginning of that game, when we first opened the game, there was like some kind of really strange looking guy who said like, because we were cowards, we must now deliver three verses. What was that about? Who was that? We might never know. Hello, Halcyon. She doesn't know Cat Planet. Oh, a Sylvie game. You know this? Um, what was uh, Tomb Raider is negative 6.7 decibels right I think so it would have been really cool if everyone who streamed the Stanley Parable 1 only did exactly what the narrator told them to and just replayed the same event multiple times for hours and everyone who watched the streams but didn't play it got really vocal about what a rip off the game must be it feels like that's what Augursley would do if he was going to play that game Actually, it was negat negat v seven point three. You're trying to make it quieter so that you don't have to hear the game. Uh, heard of Sylvie's games being interesting? Oh, I'm just kidding. It was positive eight point two. That would be absolutely ear shatteringly loud. <laughs> All right, I gotta pee. So give me a second. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. 